Thank you for joining, for joining it's our uh, live uh, uh, town hall with uh, opening up in a prayer. You can all pray with me. Nijajene <laughs> Nihimana has son leaning Jenoho Nasco net Nijet, a cut none a daddle. Nihina and tin his son leaning con, Jeno Hanada has ladole. Now that the nest sound of Honasco net Nijet bear and none eat a dole. Conny hid in the end leaning to the Ashla and Nazinobel Ashlai. Bed than hid Ogeni con he kit out on lane he sits arch at home. Dan Hanahol Yadole. Nihik idin eat on a hot and now her yard or left Nasco net nigit. Ado con hit at the hoist of all on here and has ango. Nihonish Kishna's cargon he caught at the turn he taught Nas Congo. Nihitisk and Nas Lago con ya at el home. But ah, Dandy die home when in Jonah by Nahi dart or left. Ado and hit the net and leany con he ate and lean him on his jet. Nihit chain he knelt and leany behave jay large a cake neat nara alto. Nara alchin in his all can he nalikit and leany alto. Benail neat all the aron his allowed so than leany a la large a day nishi alto and hit her yard the hot eight all the and Jono nani kedole so an Arabic a rojon than eat long ho. Nan he nil dole, Nasco net nijin he not the yet cut all the aron to the zin leany alto. Nihil or in his aunt at any corner, Hana he laughed or let. Nihil told us and don't he in a hut that he in a instant or let. Aaron of Alchina arts for home. A sweet son is a cage cake and leaning on yard ever. Nada kedole, Nasgo net, Nigit. Her ishing coin catching at and leaning on the leg in lard or let. Yodden hit as leaning on the ball sand or let. Arnils for home. Aro that is a eater home. Ben Binet and Juno Home, Ben Secation, Juno Bazadi, I have young home than his aunt Ole, Nantin Kin Lini Home, Bettin Lado, Le Home, Nasco, here, Nantin Kin Dole, Betta Home, Colts of eight others and Lini Home, Behanana, Sit Ole, Bella Ishlab or Ishlai Ben, and now Hadley Dole, the Indian Edam of Lini, Ah, D. De Ben, he took a Jonas Link, or the Shin, which a Nas Link, which a Nas Link, which a Nas Link, which a Nas Link, he had Chick Edoshin at this time. Uh, we'd like to go ahead and turn the time over to our Honorable President, President Jonathan Ned. Go ahead. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Slightly 
and then kitchen conanish, lad or less, I let that is not saggy. Lay Alamo, that that is not saggy, K A B R F M radio, that Sarah Patchy at the Ado, I let Danny Kinatigi, the Nebuke of Cardo, Lay Schlatin Hout Zogodo, Lay Ton and the Dosa, Danny Kinat, Con, the Nebuke of Cardo, a ya, Chinchin, least be Kido. あ、あの、あ、よ、やって、ひで、レスレスレテと、だいつさ、え、レス、ラ、ラシ、やって、ペナオ、サルティクシティで、ナロセンフェイでと、よ、トーネ、だいつさ、パインヒルでと、エブリ
Sin. Ado Kodo Ya the Kosin Sky Kuichi Tatin Asha the media general Akon Yikani in with that old now. Ayat and a slingy in a dinas a the media jidova. So said Nezatin Dova, this din Dova Asha, Nelt Ayat and a sling. Adon Hitza, another don Hitza, Yikani in Nel, Tajit Deniki Asha, the media jidova, Tazatin Dova Asha, Stranting Dova Astra Nelt Aiko, Yikani in Nan Hitza, Tajit. So Abini na ekodo adatso dolsen she came on clean. So e hota e yahan and did you nani the kanade ya donet? Aro denadeski uh o the lagana bike yako eido jo uh kodo uh chanta kreashwane a da da hosya um late o the e ya di it's ado the kosin sky it's ado na nashnegi. Edo denades kit. Jutibinin na its ado na nash nehegi e binin nagi e jokon he cane in nado is a dens in the sa. Odin the ahut a shladin hout zogo. Mikada as tsigo anils anils or do anit eh. Mikada as tsigo e ya nachikodon nish or the akonda haishin binin nasa. Kun ki kani ki na to den zanda. Ako atashin e ya nsuda ki ash ki na sini do ni ki ni ni na khas chini ki e dan zini ki. Ado kon ni ki na go ke ke da hat ni ki do ba nsuda ki ash kun do na ni zini. Do ashon ya ya des ki na di kushin chik at a a de na des ki do na bi ki ab ka bini na gi asan de itle. Doch an a cre. Eat an ades kidigi in le posto goch an de cre so legodo, chan de cre. Las Vegas got that out, chan de cre need da cregi ashwana kodo, nijo patani ke. Ashwana kodo, nijo masan he chain in nala, ashi what an he che yadast he, do die die so not sata. Kadoni he cane he never can so as Unta Dobada as Tsegi lay, um, Zel Eden da, and the Hastra od Ash wanted a da and Sadak, yes, she came of Lini. Oh, Aunt Delia, the never key of a cow and de. You de con he chained on his zeb gidast here, contra the decra. Abe kitchen and mesh. Ado ad dot lej on da creda edo chadash, eh? The e ya oyo by yanda nossen. A ish by yada nossen. You can master no e ishi do e ya eight eh? Don't hit the needed or less master dos chadash on. Even in na e, you could only hit your but they need cash gain of slain. Ash wanted, then he did ne? Not any need linigi. Ashon Zunago at the Ilia, the Nades kit Lugana added than he nash. Ashon Zunago at the Ila than his ne, or the East Sagi Benina, the Nades kit. Adoch on that cray, though dot eda aqua and de crego, the aunt de Yadishne. Niki key at Nijon. A con carried on her under his ard. The conta, Niki Mata. It's a yo ea, eat of a car of jay. Joe Lana Duns, I can't never care of a car of the day crego. Nahayat esk in a thing. Ado quado a e sladin ha hot zogo ya. Yego the Nandes, which go ha host to ha hot zoja banahana. Zel in a gonna ah ah la cona ah blush lai ad. Yah e credo, uh, the Trahadan is Grehat no the Bada Hanna. A ya ye see large egi a ya do bada as sigi cut zel eon and the hast. A ebony nakadosh cane of thing. 
یه مسانی که چینی نلشین هیچی یه دست که چه ای لا بعد از سه بل بعد هزن ای بینی نا هیچ احد شکیل جو دا نیخی دا نو آ نیخی دا ایس تا دا ایس نیل تا نیه مسا نیه چینی نو جو دا نیه یاد ها دا ایس تا ဒီလိုရှိရှင်နာအန်တီနေတဲ့ရှိခင်းတော့စီနေ <laughs> Shay <laughs> Ebe nas de no ka nikit zilo. Jadi ebe nas de be chidi ka hot a dinas ling ish kain of lane. A hot eh? Oh, what are she eh? A da hat need on nan. O yo la nan let the o yo hash kaji. Nikit ya ha ot zi, she da hat need on this dina. A conda o gesh chi she o anni. A conda ni masa ni hit chain nan la bad eight eh? A roch kaji ya dash kia. Ara biga hada di nene. A hot a e ya nikit zilo nas de ni ka. Dibi chidi ka. Ndishni. Chike ino sini. A da ino sne. E na antine. Veda hui la a. Da ane in de kregi. A hot a nikit che hada o zi. Nas chile hon da a ne. ادا <laughs> What are she asked so the neck a chinny chicken and on a seat or lit? You know, I just said a few things in Navajo. Many of these teachings have been passed down from generation to generation. One is honoring your uh, leaders and, and honoring your warriors. You know, there's warriors on the front line right now, 16 months. And you got also these uh, folks that are on social media with just nothing but negativity. Now, I, don't, I bet many of them were never on the front lines throughout this pandemic and have no idea of what our healthcare professionals have gone through throughout these 16 months. Mrs. Chi there in Loop this weekend, Saturday. She's a healthcare worker from Flagstaff. Had a difficult time and she shared her story with us, breaking down and crying and praying for the people every day. Just imagine dealing with COVID positive cases for 16 straight months because we care for our Navajo people. And you know, Navajo people, we need to stop this negativity. We need to begin to come together and rally and get closer together and look after one another. You know, there are times, yes, you can call out all these individuals, but during a public health emergency, you're just, you know, 
putting the people down that are going through some tough times on the front lines, our healthcare workers. And you know, I've been seeing every town hall meeting, thank you police officers, criminal investigators. Thank you to our healthcare professionals, our doctors, our community health representatives, chapter uh, officers and our chapter administrator, you know, the list goes on, 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 on and on. 16 months, you know, at the beginning, we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into with COVID-19, but we got the message out. The message was going out and it's still going out after 16 months, ladies and gentlemen. And we just got to take it in. We got to listen. You know, our elders, let me, let me tell you this, uh, my friends and family, the elders are 90%, 75 years and older, 90% fully vaccinated. They are our role models here. They know that this bug is dangerous and they talk to us on a periodic basis telling us to listen to listen i hear this i mean i'm not just sitting here in winter rock all the time you know i'm all throughout the navajo nation and i say this with love i love you i want you all to you know be safe this is not my teaching. This is our elders teaching. And they say this, I'm sure every day to all of you out there to listen. They probably say that listen, listen to these experts. And then we're starting to travel again. Some of us are going to places where there are hot spots and in all these places where the variant is going out. It's just like going out to a battle and a war. You, you equip yourself, you put your armor on, you put your face mask on, you get your vaccination and you share that and you be a model out there just like people see uh, Navajo people off the Navajo Nation, and they know that we're Navajo. You know why? Because we're wearing masks. And some of us are starting to bow down to peer pressure. When people are not wearing their mask, you feel kind of ashamed or embarrassed. You want to take that mask off. Just leave it on. Who's going to know who you are anyway, right? If you wear a mask. Nothing to be ashamed about. Nothing to shy away from wearing a mask. Because it shows that you love your family, your community, and you love others that are around you. If you go to the first uh, PowerPoint there, uh, 31,201 people have tested positive for COVID-19. 29,741 have recovered to this day, those are being tracked. 1,366 have lost their, their lives to COVID. Our thoughts and prayers go out to them. You know, I, I see a lot of comments about LMA. And I said this in Navajo earlier. You know, we, we are doing our very best here on the Navajo Nation. Whatever you're hearing, from social media, get to the core of the news, which is the family members. You know, the, if, if the family uh, is requesting for assistance, you know, let us help and not complain. The Navajo Nation has given food, water, and supplies to the volunteers. We're not, we don't ask to be recognized, we just give it because there's a need there. You know, we had, have had six missing persons reports for the past few months. And we have been engaged constantly with our public safety personnel, our officers, 
criminal investigator yesterday. I got called out for the CIs not being attentive. They have been attentive of all these missing persons reports. We as a community, as a nation also, to come together and pray. Pray for our people to be found, the missing people to be found. I've been a part of search and rescue. Just because I'm not out there with the, this current one, doesn't mean I don't have no heart for the family. I've been on my knees praying for a made return, but nobody sees that. And I know God is in control. And I think those of uh, you that are complaining should do the same. Get on your knees and pray. Early in the morning and pray. God knows where this situation is going. Let's put it into God's hand. You know, we've been having uh, the our PIOs helping the, the, the police officers get the message out. Nobody, nobody sees these things. But everybody's eyes is on social media, on whatever is uh, the, the priority or the genin news of the day, and then it just explodes. Just be careful of what you put into your, your minds, Navajo people. And we are doing our very best, like I said. This is not the only missing persons case. And if you want to go to the police department's uh, website, you'll get updates. And we do updates. If you go back, those of you saying that I'm, we're not doing anything, if you go back in our social media timeline, it'll show you. So be careful of what is in social media. Our second slide there shows the, uh, the wave that we're in and where we're going. And it looks like we're, st we're starting to see an uptick in, in the second slide there. This is the entire uh, public health uh, emergency from the start last year, 16 plus months. And you can see the big spikes in cases during the day. Now, if you go all the way to the right, you see just a small little increase compared to the entire pandemic. If you go to slide three, it'll show you the recent uptick from May to July. We had one day that had over 20 cases, two days close to 20, uh, 20 cases averaged out. You know, we're, we're still, you all are still doing uh, good, but these upticks are because people are traveling and since we're vaccinated we kind of bring it back to the nation and then we begin to spread it amongst our family members again so wear your mask out there and get vaccinated get our people to come and Get their vaccination they're they're doing uh vaccination drives every day at one of your health care facilities at these clinics and hospitals throughout the navajo nation do it for your family do it for your community do it for your people your nation the next slide shows across the country the comparison between the navajo nation and the United States, and look at that. We we managed to bring the numbers down again. I I, I want to say thank you to the healthcare professionals, the contact tracers. They're the ones who find out these individuals uh, are COVID positive, and then they call everybody around them to make sure they go get get them tested, make sure they're not spreading. It. And those uh, that get tested and are positive, they get isolated. And look at the blue, that's the country and it's going up. Last week, we saw an uptick of 20 cases in one, one day. And now it's coming back down and we pray, we pray, we continue to see that downward trend. 
you know, you're, you're doing a good job, but it's the traveling. I'm not going to tell you not to travel. I'll encourage you to stay home. But if you do travel, wear your masks. Wherever you go, there's nothing wrong with it. If you're, like I said, if you're embarrassed of wearing a mask, it's okay. Just wear masks. No one's going to know who you are. No one's going to comment on social media and say, so-and-so was wearing a mask over there. They're not going to say that. Just wear your mask. And wear it proudly as a Navajo people. Let the outside world see us wearing our armor. That's our armor. We have the weapons to fight off this monster called COVID-19. Now let's go to the next slide here. This is the variants. Uh, report and there's no increase in the Delta variant here on the Navajo Nation thus far. But uh, the the new report shows that the Alpha variant B117 there's 114 of that. That's the uh, UK variant uh, and the Beta there's none. The Gamma there's four overall here on the Navajo Nation. The Delta is nine, the Epsilon is 20, and then there's a, a, a cross between the Beta and Gamma and the Delta and the Epsilon. Beta, Gamma, five, Delta, Epsilon, 11. So let's uh, continue to fight back and push back on this virus, ladies and gentlemen. You're doing a good job, many. It's just that some uh, of us are, are not taking the uh, protocol and, and those that are uh, ending up in the emergency rooms, those are the ones that haven't gotten vaccinated and they're getting sick. I mean, just ask someone who has caught the uh, COVID 19 and how that person went through that sickness. It's tough. I've heard. I've heard that people have struggled to get through it. Whereas you just get a shot, one prick in your arm real quick compared to going through days of sickness or ventilator usage. No, we want you to be safe. The last slide here compares all the states uh, with the Navajo Nation. Last week, we had a real big increase in, in Navajo cases because of that 20. Remember this 20, this 20, is based on per capita. So even when 20, even if there's 20 in one day, that makes it a big jump because of per capita. And you see here that uh, Utah's number one, the, the top red line, these are the four states. Number one at the top is Alabama. It's Alabama or is that Arkansas? I need to give me some bifocals now. Uh, and then the first red line is Utah. The second one under that is Arizona. So there's an increase there. The third is the yellow is Navajo Nation. Arkansas, thank you. And then there's Colorado, uh, which is right under Navajo Nation, and then New Mexico, uh, right under Colorado. And because we jump high into this chart, it's because per capita. Even just 10 one day and 20 another day, it'll boost us up high into the rankings here. And so keep up the good work. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you. We appreciate everything that you are doing. Mom and dad, uh, grandma, grandpa, nullies, thank you. And, and let's pray for our missing people out there. You know, as when we got involved in getting the message out for these missing people and, and sharing our those press releases from the police department, the people that were found, and, and this is public record. You go back in our social media page or police, police uh, social media page. We found Bailey Begay. We found Braden Begay. We found Shannon Torres, Edward Shirley Jr. Roberta Ann Watchman, those that are still missing, 
Grandma there, Ella Mae Begay, Renelle Rose Bennett, Jamie Lynette Yazzie. You know, when, when we pray today, let's pray for those that are, haven't been found yet. And we're going to continue to do our best to help as much as we can. And let's not, fo let's not lose focus. We want to find our loved one and not to blame others. And let's give it to God. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, watching today. Uh, the Navajo Nation Council Summer Session is happening this week. Pray for our leaders. Uh, pray for wisdom, strength, protection, and good health for our leaders and our, our loved ones all across the Navajo Nation. So God bless you. God bless our great Navajo Nation. I'm going to turn the time over to Dr. Uh, Jill Jim and uh, Captain Johnson will also be uh, giving updates from the Indian Health Services. Del Yazi will be doing the gating uh, measures slash gating criteria. Uh, you might want to mention, Dr. Jill Jim, the, um, the new um, <clears throat> uh, regulations, if you want to call it that, for uh, faith-based gatherings as well. So thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Wear your mask social distance and encourage our people to get vaccinated. We'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, yeah, I've been in on Sheik Edo, Shedanado, Janat Ani, Kwaad, Chiche, President Nez, a Kihet non Kwaadi, Hanane Zigi, Kwaadi, the Kosin Sagi, now states Ada Kwa Ati Kwa, Kunahini Ati. Dr. and the executive director for Navajo Department of Health at East by Hyundai Big Edinchi Kwadi um Ninat Ani Hajido Arts for Kwadi um Shik Edo should the Nashi Arts for Kwad. A quid is not nan um yet not old in the hat ah the um not niki letter. And his in the hot ni hot at the a hit ah in the chinton his uh big as to dain is an old um ni lot handy kiss a door. so um, people are gathering, causing some of these clusters to happen here in the Navajo Nation. Social media, people are gathering out there, having reunions or birthday parties and things like that a eh? they need to be done safely um a Secretary of Health Lenigi on the Washington the um Javier Becerra Lenigi he declared a renewal of determination that a public health emergency still exists. It's been not um but non the shit they do and non the shit they thought so. There's still a public health emergency based on the Department of Health and Human Services um, secretary. So just to let everyone know, although the Delta variant is dominant in the U.S., 
as well as um, definitely seen in other countries. In other countries, a I don't um a cliche um I don't I do they go to this kit other young y'all going to this kit so um that trend has happened in other countries and K Ato Honet and Ashinikin what the Hadnito to to keep that the numbers down on Navajo do I don't quite and you quit a shame or gay unvaccinated individuals are very um high risk of getting um COVID right now. On the delt, um, on any COVID deaths right now, or mainly among those that are unvaccinated. So, so what I see, so it's very important to get people vaccinated, especially to avoid death or any severe illness or hospitalizations, and so. Uh, um, a lot of that we like to always just remind everyone that, as President mentioned, that the long-term effects of COVID is real. So just be careful on all of those. And states that we would say are very high, um, as I know we do the ranking that President mentioned that Dell might cover again. We know that, as he mentioned, our, some other states um, based on CDC are Arkansas, Florida, Louisiana, Louisiana, Missouri, and Nevada. And so traveling to those states, just be cautious. And so um, Dell will have different numbers on that. But we also want to have people become aware of the misinformation out there and the U.S. Surgeon General um, Vivek Murphy also has um, information about misinformation that regarding COVID. So share correct information. So he's asking us to raise the bar on sharing correct health information, social media and other sorts of credible information uh, about COVID vaccines, dot, dot, any, um, share that information and make sure it's correct information and we rely on you guys um, out there to help share with your family members and friends by checking the correct resources and making sure it's from either a federal agency or either a university or some sort of um, health foundation or some ways of um, getting information out departments of health also at the local or state offices um, are also credible resources. So link up to those to share information wherever you live to get um, that information out to yourself and other in individuals. I know um, Captain Johnson might talk about booster shots and right now CDC did announce a couple of days ago that no booster shots are needed yet, um, but we probably need to stay vigilant on that as well. Ado, um, as um, as we create new guidelines for um, these public health emergency orders, we do have an existing one that I can share that was just updated recently regarding the um, places of worship. So um, this was posted, it was revised yesterday and it's um, an updated guidelines. Everything else still stays the same. So. Sorry about the scrolling, but I'm just going to go down to the the tent revival section because um, those are those were changed. And I think also the basic guidelines. I would say crowd control, physical distancing, everything stays the same. So I'm going to go down to tent revival. So this is the section that got updated. So if a tent revival event were to occur on the Navajo Nation, please adhere to the following CDC recommended guidelines. So large gatherings brings together many people from multiple households in a private or public place. Often these are planned events with a large number of guests and invitations. They sometimes involve lodging events, staff, long, long distance travel, but um, for tent revivals, we're recommending not to have it exceed six hours. This is the same recommendation time frame that we have also for the in-person um, meetings and trainings as well. And also 
adhere to the social gathering limits. So right now we are at 25 individuals allowed for social gathering. And so that's how much should be allowed for the tent revivals as well. We also um, wanted to address just the ventilation in these tents. So at least um, have a fourth of the, um, the tent skirt be partially install installed, um, basically just for that to protect like the PA system or electronic pieces of equipment, but encouraging the, um, the airflow um, within the tent. So all the skirts should not be down um, during these tent revivals. There should be circulation um, within that. And also still um, adhering to the social distancing and mask wearing as well um, within these guidelines. All other um, guidelines within this document apply, such as the food and social distancing, wearing your mask. And so um, other items within the guideline that we should that you should consider um, if you're hosting this. So if you are hosting a tent revival. Um, as a management entity, you're responsible for ensuring that these guidelines are followed. So making sure there is a hand washing station or hand sanitizer um, that is inside and or outside the tent and making um, or having masks available for everyone as well, because some people might forget. So having this availability of um, sanitation and also mask is important. So those are the two chain the changes that we worked on with the um, team as well. Some other guidelines that we have updated is just, I can go over these is to get fully vaccinated for COVID-19 for your best protection for yourself and for unvaccinated children or high risk family and coworkers wear a well-fitting mask, socially distance, um, keep at least six feet apart, avoid crowded indoor spaces with poor ventilation. And so that basically, um, that has will have poor um, airflow. So just making sure there's good ventilation. Of course, washing your hands, as we reiterated, avoid touching your face, nose, eyes, and mouth. Also avoid close contact with people who are sick or have been exposed to someone with COVID-19. So if you're um, coming to these events, um, please ensure um, you can have an extra questionnaire instead of a temperature and a temperature check if you want. By asking people if you're sick, um, please stay home. And also, if they think they have been exposed to someone with COVID-19, that they're asked to stay home and not attend these um, gathering events, such as um, places of worship in churches or either tent revivals. If you're feeling sick, get tested for COVID, then stay home and do not go to work or school. Um, and that is just a message that we've been saying. And so just follow all the CDC guidelines. And so these are some updated updated guidance, but I hope it can help everyone um, safely gather for items that every that we all have access to right now. So and for churches and places of worship, just print out the new guidelines. It's on the Department of Health webpage. And I just want to thank everyone for listening this morning. And I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Captain Brian Johnson, who's with the Navajo Area Office and also a member of our Health Command Operations Center. So take it away, Captain Johnson. Thank you, uh, Dr. Jim. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Captain uh, Brian Johnson, Acting Deputy Area Director for Navajo Area Indian Health Service in, in St. Michael's, Arizona. Um, I wish you all a, a good day today on this uh, beautiful Tuesday here on the Navajo Nation. Um, uh, thank you. I, I know that uh, President Nez and uh, Dr. Jim went over um, a number of points, and I'm sure that I'll repeat some of those points. But I think, um, as we all know, it, it never hurts to uh, touch base again or, or restate uh, some of those just so we all uh, remember. The more we're exposed to that uh, information and consistent information, uh, the better we are in terms of uh, recall and, and remembering that. Um, I just want to thank also the, um, the, uh, the tribal health partners across Navajo Nation. Um, I know that we in the uh, Indian Health Service continue to uh, enjoy the relationship that we have uh, with uh, Dr. Jim and the Navajo Nation Department of Health, as well as the tribal health organizations um, across the Navajo area. 
and it's been been very productive uh, throughout COVID-19, and uh, we look forward to continuing that that the, those partnerships. Um, not much has changed in terms of our protocols across uh, the Navajo area. We're still um, working with the Navajo Nation um, and, and the tribal health organizations on uh, following the uh, or tracking the uh, metrics or tracking the gating measures that we use to really monitor what's going on with COVID-19 here on the nation and then being able to use that information to compare and to contrast against what's going on outside of the Navajo Nation, just to kind of see how we're doing. Um, it's, a, it's always a good test just to understand uh, how we're faring uh, as we look across. And of course, we've done that throughout the uh, pandemic and we'll continue to do that um, as changes come about, as we deal with uh, variants, um, we'll, we'll continue to do that. And I noticed that, um, I know uh, uh, Del Yazi with the uh, Navajo Nation Epi program was able to join us here today as well. And uh, my understanding uh, may be presenting. And uh, the information that he shares from the Epi Center is, is so important to what we do every day. And, and he helps us with those, um, looking at uh, case numbers, looking at uh, the testing uh, positivity rates across uh, the various service areas here on Navajo Nation. Um, also working with us to collect the hospital capacity and, and looking at how many contact tracers we have. President Mez earlier hit on the, con the, the topic of contact tr tracers and, and what they do for us. And they are in, an incredible part of the healthcare team here on the Navajo Nation. If it weren't for the contact tracers and, and if they were not responding quickly, then uh, we would likely be in a much different place right now as opposed to where we're at presently. So um, certainly uh, that's a, an important element is, is monitoring the number of contact tracers that we have as we continue to um, track cases and, and work with families to isolate and to make sure that people have the right information and accurate information. And um, again, I, I've said it on uh, multiple occasions in the past, we continue to be in a critical uh, point with the pandemic. Um, I know that it feels like um, things are, are much better, and, uh, and that's good. The number of cases, of course, have come down. Um, as President Nez and, and uh, Dr. Jim touched on, you know, we're starting to see some upticks, and um, certainly things like travel, such as uh, President Nez hit on, um, that those are important elements in this, and that we make sure that we're protecting ourselves, particularly when we're going outside our local area. Um, to areas that may be experiencing higher number of cases of COVID-19. And so, um, again, we, we are at a critical point, though the numbers are certainly smaller than they once were, uh, because really the decision is up to all of us. And um, the decisions that have been made to this point um, by Navajo Nation people and the Navajo Nation leaders has been a very uh, outstanding, exceptional, in terms of uh, making the right decisions, such as uh, wear, continuing to wear masks, um, very, very important in getting your uh, vaccinations. So um, one of the things I always want to make sure that, that, that people understand is that though our cases are um, certainly less at this point in time, um, we still need to maintain our, um, our resources the infrastructure that we've been using over time to make sure that we have those uh, ready and that we continue providing the services that are needed uh, to make sure that we are um, stopping uh, any spread that may be continuing to happen. We know that, um, as Dr. Jim touched on, we know that there's been various uh, large group gatherings, whether those are um, family or church oriented or, or others um, across the Navajo Nation where we've seen some um, spikes in cases as a result of uh, individuals uh, coming together as groups. And so the concept of uh, wearing your mask particularly and, and, and vaccinations are, are continue to be incredibly important as well as washing your hands and watching your distance. 
But um, I always like to make sure that people understand that our COVID-19 testing across the Navajo Nation continues to be available. Um, and I know it was mentioned, but just to uh, reiterate, uh, it's if you're having symptoms that are consistent with COVID-19, if you feel or if you know that you've been directly exposed to an individual who was recently um, identified or tested positive for COVID-19, these are situations where you would want to reach out to your local health facility and, um, and get some uh, uh, advice from the, uh, the medical folks about um, coming in and getting tested uh, for your, yourself and uh, just to make sure that you have peace of mind. And then if by chance you uh, are identified as positive, that's okay uh, because you just work through it. You, you end up isolating from others, just to protect your family. And we just continue um, that cycle of, of uh, prevention. So very important that uh, that testing continues and we plan to continue that testing for the foreseeable future. Um, it's not gonna come to a stop and that should tell everyone something that, that although our numbers are low, it's still important to understand that uh, testing is available and that, um, that, that testing helps us understand. If, if, we're, uh, if we're looking at the Navajo Nation from a bird's eye view and we want to understand um, what's going on in terms of positivity rates, uh, when we look down across the Navajo Nation if we have uh, a trend or trends of positive cases in certain areas, maybe certain service areas, maybe it's on the east side of the nation, maybe it's on the west side, maybe it's up in the northwest uh, uh, area, um, you know, that gives us an idea of where we need to focus our efforts from a public health standpoint. And that's where Dr. Jim and uh, President Nez have been particularly helpful um, in helping uh, make sure that the uh, federal health care uh, facilities as well as the tribal health organizations are coming together and um, addressing those areas as a public health prevention uh, activity and effort. So again, thank you for that. So the, the testing continues. Uh, vaccines, I wanna take a moment and, and talk a little bit about uh, vaccines and it's been already touched on in, in this uh, Facebook session that uh, the Delta variant um, is uh, something of concern. And we're, we are seeing um, you know, cases pop up around the country here on the Navajo Nation. We've been fortunate so far um, not having that much in terms of uh, finding of the, var of the, of the uh, Delta variant. But um, we need to understand that uh, of, due to people either traveling into the Navajo Nation or our own local residents traveling outside of the Navajo Nation, that's how the disease can be introduced. And that was mentioned earlier. And so it's, um, this becomes very important because the, uh, the Delta variant is uh, fairly highly transmissible, meaning it can spread easy between people. And also, it can also be result in more harsh uh, uh, illness. In other words, requiring hospitalization. And so we continue to spread the message about vaccinations. And over a period of time, we've spoken about the, um, the Pfizer vac uh, vaccines. We've, we've spoken about the Moderna, the Johnson & Johnson vaccines, and then emergency use authorization. And these continue to be the most important uh, tools in our toolbox of prevention against uh, COVID-19. So um, we really wanna make sure that people understand if you are unvaccinated at this time, Dr. Jim hit on it nicely, that um, you are at risk of infection, particularly if you are around a person who's either carrying and who is either uh, symptomatic or possibly non-symptomatic. And um, you, know, you may not ever know that you are around a person if they're non-symptomatic, but they're a carrier of the virus, of the uh, Delta variant, then that could be uh, the way that it is transmitted uh, across the board. So um, really, really thinking about that. And if you're still on the fence about whether or not to get vaccinated, uh, this uh, Delta variant, as you're able to look across the country, and, and you can go, you can go look at uh, websites, reputable websites, 
that are across, um, you know, the, the public health realm. That could be, um, you know, Centers for Disease Control. Uh, it could be National Institutes of Health. Um, you could look at, you know, Johns Hopkins, for example, and just a number of uh, uh, areas or, or uh, credible organizations that you can look at uh, to make sure that to understand exactly what's going on with this um, Delta variant. And uh, I, do, I do certainly encourage folks to make sure that you're aware. Take a moment uh, to understand your environment, your local environment, plus the environment in, in the United States that could potentially be introduced here as well um, on the Navajo Nation. So um, it's pretty interesting to, to, to know that in Indian country, when we look at the Indian healthcare system, over 1.7 million vaccine doses have been distributed. So we're getting upwards of the 2 million um, doses across the uh, IHS system. And, and when I say IHS system, this means both uh, the federal and tribal uh, sites. And um, over 1.4 of those, right at 1.5 million, uh, have been administered uh, of, of those doses. So, um, and that includes uh, IHS uh, facilities, tribal facilities, as well as some of the urban uh, health facilities across the United States. So I want to um, restate that the IHS and the Navajo Area IHS and all of the health facilities here on the nation continue to have ample supplies of vaccine. We have enough vaccine. There is no shortage. Um, we continue as needed to make orders and we continue to receive orders as needed and as appropriate. So if you're concerned that you might go and there may not be vaccine left, that's not a worry. Um, the vaccine's there, it's available, and um, the healthcare team is ready to provide that uh, for, to you. Um, again, we're still at that uh, 12 to 15 uh, year old and up. So, so when we think about the ages of those who are eligible, we continue to start at that 12-year-old age group, and then it goes up to as old as we as we need in terms of the vaccinations. So um, if you have uh, children uh, of 12 years old and up and you're still, you still, you've waited or you've been hesitant, you still have an opportunity to um, get them vaccinated, and we certainly do still suggest that. Um, again, we continued also for households uh, here on the nation that may have, uh, you know, a mixing of both vaccinated and unvaccinated um, individuals, it's we do highly encourage everyone in a household to be vaccinated, um, and and that's that's an important point uh, to to share across the board with those of uh, your family members or your friends, and um, of course with the. Um, Vaccinating the, um, uh, the adolescents um, can also it, it also help with the with the return to school and social activities as well because we're going to be able to keep those numbers down in terms of positive cases across. So, uh, Dr. Jim had mentioned just lightly about boosters and what we talk about when, when we're talking about booster uh, vaccinations. Um, you know, with any vaccine, uh, there are sometimes uh, a need to provide a booster shot. So maybe after you've been initially vaccinated, um, say two or three or four years later or five years later, some require a booster shot to help basically, um, re, you know, strengthen, uh, re-strengthen or reactivate the, uh, the, uh, your, your, your body's uh, system in regards to that vaccine. And so um, there's been a lot of questions about COVID-19 and about um, whether or not uh, we're at a point where we need boosters. And at this point in time, booster shots for COVID-19 are, are not called for at this point. Um, we do know that the CDC and the uh, National Institutes of Health are uh, engaged in uh, the scientific processes to, to look at whether or not boosters may be necessary and that information is continuing to be reviewed at a national level, and that information will be shared here and other locations if that becomes um, warranted, if it becomes a need to uh, start with those boosters. Of course, the healthcare system here would be identified or, or, or would be notified, excuse me, 
would be notified uh, from our headquarters offices of the need for that. So we'll keep you informed here if, uh, if there's a need for booster shots um, in the future. Um, one of the things I also wanted to mention on this particular session is that uh, on July 16, just a few days ago, the uh, United States Surgeon General of the, of the Public Health Service actually put out a, a health misinformation advisory. And um, the, it, it focused on the dangers of health misinformation. When I talk about misinformation, what I'm talking about is um, inaccurate information being shared either on social media, um, on websites, or person to person. Um, this is a major problem uh, across the United States at this point in time. There's misinformation. Um, it's, and it's just important to note that it's unfortunate that the voices of our doctors, our nurses, uh, scientists, and public health experts are being drowned out by, by inaccurate information um, concerning vaccines and masks and, and other uh, public health, um, I guess, uh, elements. And um, that information is being shared in these large media platforms oftentimes. And it's unfortunate because um, locally what, what we recommend is listen to the health care providers and to the public health folks that, that you know best, that, that you're mostly familiar with. And also only look at those reputable or creditable uh, websites. I, I know the Internet's full of information, but it's full of both accurate and inaccurate information. And it's unfortunate that oftentimes the inaccurate information can get more attention and then that can cause harm to our local people here. And so um, please, when you're, when you're looking at information, when you're sharing information, please be sure that it's uh, accurate. Um, just because someone says it doesn't mean that it's accurate. Um, they're, you know, with, with the vaccines and with the uh, uh, mask wearing, and with uh, hand washing, these are all well studied, well understood public health efforts that have um, helped prevent a lot of illness and helped prevent a lot of death. And if, um, if, if we listen to others who have not studied or who are making claims of, of problems, uh, you know, without having the data to support that, then um, we're being misled, and, and then that ends up in doing harm to us as uh, our, our people. So um, please, please work with us on that, because we need to turn the tide against this uh, misinformation that's being shared across the United States. We need to hold those accountable who make false statements, who put it in the media, or who share misinformation, uh, that um, they, need to, they need to justify and they need to demonstrate uh, the, anything that supports their claims. So um, just wanted to mention that. Be sure, um, I, I highly recommend listening to your local uh, healthcare providers. I recommend um, only visiting those credible sites we talked about earlier with CDC, National Institutes of Health, and the folks that care and really care most about the American people and about the Navajo people. So, um, I also just wanted to, I think, um, end today by, by just going back and reflecting on what I've commented on here, and that is um, the number of cases here on the Navajo Nation um, continue to stay low. However, we have seen a recent uptick in various locations around uh, the Navajo Nation, also around the United States. Um, we are all continuing to monitor the variant forms of COVID-19 and there's multiple variants out there, and these are just the virus changing, and so it's, it's trying to find a way to continue uh, transmitting itself, and so we have to study that. And again, right now, the uh, Delta variant is, is one of those variants of concern, and we are monitoring that very closely, and that's the reason we mentioned about the vaccinations and how important those are at this point in time. Um, the next point is continue wearing your mask on the Navajo Nation. And I know we're talking, that's, that's really in terms of uh, President Nez and the Navajo Nation Council um, has that authority here on the Navajo Nation, but also, as was said by President Nez, going off the Navajo Nation. It's highly recommended to continue wearing those masks 
um, just to protect you and your family. Um, continuing to wash hands is the next uh, point. Um, that, that never goes out of style. That, that never uh, should stop being a public health disease prevention effort. We should always wash our hands uh, daily, uh, multiple, multiple times daily. Um, the testing, the COVID-19 testing continues and will continue to the foreseeable future. And again, just making sure that folks, again, reiterating one more time, uh, get, we do highly encourage you to get your vaccinations. And then be sure to listen to information only coming from those credible sources. And uh, let's try to stop any misinformation that's being shared about COVID-19, whether it be about the variants or the vaccine or uh, mask wearing or anything else uh, associated with that. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Dell. I am with the Navajo Epidemiology Center and also with our Health Command Operations Center COVID uh, epidemiology team. I'm going to provide some brief uh, epidemiology or some data update uh, with our most recent data you know, analytical period from July 2nd through July 15th. But before I do that, I want to acknowledge our, our COVID um, epi team. So here, here they are. Last week, uh, IHS, uh, Navajo Area IHS, um, conducted their annual awards ceremony, and our COVID epi team was um, recognized uh, for an award for excellence in disease surveillance and data analysis and data sharing for the Navajo Nation. And you see here in this uh, collage of images is our Navajo Epidemiology Center team. And then over here, there's some additional names in here that are some of our partners from various entities like um, IHS, um, CDC Foundation uh, out of you know Atlanta, Georgia, and also Johns Hopkins Center for American Indian Health. Um, and also Navajo Area IHS are some of our, our team members um, with our EPI team. So just wanted to acknowledge uh, our EPI, EPI team. So, um, so this is our gating matrix. Uh, our latest numbers um, continue to uh, tell us that we are in the yellow level um, here. So these are on the far left column are the indicators that we look at every day and every week. And as part of our GD metrics um, data analysis. So we're, we're in the yellow still. So for the 13th consecutive week. I think President Nash showed this already, but just wanted to, this is a 60 day time window from uh, mid-May to, to July 15th. So um, you see these bars here, they are the number of cases. Our numbers do fluctuate every day. I think that uh, President has referred to these uh, increase in cases. There's a 24 case um, day, um, I think like a week, or maybe a little over a week ago. Um, and over the weekend, we had like 17 or so cases and 13. So our numbers are, um, have, gone up a little bit over the past week and a half. So this is a, again, 60 day time window and the red, the red line is the nine, the nine day weighted center moving average. So you can see a little uptick here and now we're came back down a little bit and we're on this plateau for now um, currently. So this is our latest heat map, 71 days over a seven day, I'm sorry, 71 cases over a seven day period, which is from July 9th 
through July 15th. There were 71 cases, which puts our incidence rate at 45 cases per 100,000, which keeps us in the yellow, the yellow level as far as cases and incidents. And our, our bordering states here, Utah, continues to see an uh, increase in cases. So they're in this darker shaded red color or over 100 cases per 100,000 as an incidence. Um, Arizona, again, this little darker shade of brown color as well. So they're in the 50 to 99 cases per 100,000 as an incidence. And then Colorado, New Mexico over here. And on the nation, we saw increase in cases in Tuba City service area, as well as Kienta and Gallup. So therefore they're in this darker shade of brown color. Um, but we are seeing cases throughout the nation, um, just Tuba, Kienta and Gallup were the only service areas with um, a significant increase in cases. So uh, we do, we are seeing cases in Chinle service area, up in Shiprock as well, um, even in Crown Point. Uh, Fort Defiance and Winslow. So again, we are seeing cases um, throughout the nation. A lot of them are due to family gatherings um, from, a lot of them are coming, stemming from 4th of July weekend, um, family events. Um, and also a lot of the cases are people who are unvaccinated. So this is some additional, uh, additional metrics our seven day uh, test COVID test positivity rate is at 4.8%. Over our seven day period, there were 351 average daily tests that were conducted. Our hospital beds, regular beds and ICU beds remain below 70% throughout Navajo Nation at all the IHS uh, facilities. And then our contact tracers to new daily case ratio is at 10. So we want to be above five, so we're at 10, and so it's apparently sufficient. This is just a, a general picture of our vaccination across Navajo, the US over here on the left side, and Navajo Nation over here on the right side for um, ages 12 years of age and older. So we're at 70% at least with one dose, 64% fully vaccinated, and we've administered 99% of the doses that have been distributed to Navajo Nation. So um, neighboring jurisdictions, this is off of the CDC uh, COVID data tracker website. So I think it was mentioned there are some uh, across the nation, you know, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Florida, and Nevada with this darker shaded blue color with um, higher incidence of COVID cases over a seven day period. Um, and within our region, you know, uh, Utah and Arizona with a darker shaded blue color here um, for higher incidence of cases within our four corners Southwest region. And this is uh, by counties. So this is um, within our region you know, there's, you don't see really much red, which is a good thing. But you see a lot of orange in Arizona side, Apache, Navajo, and Coconino counties here. San Juan County in Utah is yellow. So that's, uh, that's even better with a lower COVID um, risk. And then this is uh, Montezuma County up in Colorado, which is part of Cortez, Colorado. Um, this is McKinley County. Um, in the orange in New Mexico. So um, orange and on yellow within our uh, region. This is, uh, we're updating this um, currently, the latest uh, Navajo Nation strain surveillance, uh, which is uh, the variants. Uh, it remains the same from last week. So we're updating this uh, probably the end of today. So, um, but there are 163 cases with an identified variant of concern, 114 of them are the, the alpha, the UK variant. We don't still have any cases with the South African variant, four with the Brazil, nine with the India, which is the Delta variant, which um, as you all are probably aware currently I, is um, 
uh, biggest uh, threat as far as a variant of concern currently. Um, the California variant is at 20, and uh, these last two rows of uh, variants, beta, gamma at five, and delta, epsilon with 11. So, then just, this is as of June 19th. They haven't updated this uh, CDC variant profile for the US, but uh, the Delta variant has increased over time, this orange bar here. And then the, the UK variant has decreased over time. So the main concern currently is the Delta variant. As I mentioned, we've been in the yellow level for three consecutive weeks. Uh, mainly because of our cases. Uh, we remain in this 10 to 49 cases per 100,000. There's an incidence rate, we're at 45. So we've gone up a little bit and we're, you know, hovering between yellow on the yellow side, but we're almost, you know, back to orange, but we're still in yellow. Um, testing, we're in the green, actually. We're below 5%. We're at 4.5% for, for now. So and then the contact tracers were in yellow. Um, in order to be a green, we need to be at 30 contact tracers for every new daily case. So we're in yellow. And our hospital beds and ICU beds are below 75%. So we're in, in green. So, um, but we're, we're for now in the yellow level, mainly because of the, the little uptick in cases um, across the nation. So. I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna hand it over to uh, Dr. Fowler. I think you're, you're gonna end our session. Thank you. Thank you, Shiyash. Kodal Bank is now seeing the name. Also, Captain Brian Johnson, President, Vice President. Thank you for your leadership. Uh, let me go ahead and start off with the interpretation of the for Captain Johnson and Mr. Yazi. Yad eshk edo shudne ko eshin di zeit ene da anishda aj se paat kaho deshne aj din da al kahe e atin da al ka aro di oshdoit ini saho ent ol nishin hi hi ya isni e ati hona ni aro e e kashin soko ni hit at nas tego na ne deskit. Okadi is a bit sado than did K. A. D. Chan at the Hashino Sa H. Aunt of Dan lay the Nebel Hots of O. Go Nahahi, Ado Ade, Hushte, um, Hitchi Yahanata, he gave a satashi bed at the Naha, Ben that the Nahashi could the Yahata, Ado O. Go Naha, Ade bed at the Naha, Yahanata, a is a bit sado, could the Naha Nasne, John Hisne. Aro di um Chostoit ini uh and or nili delta variant is nini j a yego tsinal doi it's edo a yego it's easy dis ni do it's easy um do what ego is not nishi it's edron his ne a kodi saho is hina is tahigi aj do yego nasni it he that the nahi don his ne aro di belakan like etro a booster is ne Ashi in near Orkney, you a asa and ha or Sidona, Kikuna, a dot naha or si, the age hash in Zago, the deathne, hashine, la in late so it's a be done to zero age a deathne done, when the draw a is the age in a lily age at in date car, and Lena, Hena, Kina, Hedda, Ada, that send a another at Sedo less than Nini draw a at the age in a nail car, conde. A Kadoshi Ben his Nahon net on his neck. Ado de Hone ya a misinformation day's neck. Belaganic Etrogoha Ishi or Jenniko Ado has Jope what has now Sado what ego bet it is on Sado what ego be yachis tio. Din not lay hard and she ate in his cheat on his other days balk at his ninny. A conny hip hojit the Nebuka hot soja a ash horned, me he cheat on his air abet at the days pal on dark, he john hit at Nenny he not an lini hot and hit ne, me hip nehapa up on us and chick eight or shouldn't 
Nihi kodo e ze ich in in lineage it sees naraji ye in nihi, e satopic at the honil, to e an hi a ti gaho e hutado let or di nida, ze ich in e yisi ye go ye in ni. Ado di ze naraji ti a deshne to e huta e ben his nahane. Hashit eshi e san lini to ohut ego ye nahane e do a deshni da nini. Dotna <laughs> And le a hua bet it na hajil, na hak e da bet it, bet it na hajil, na aro ti de nebel ha ho zoi da be, it it in da hajil, na o yo yinni, to aj on hits at the anana ni, e a da ota da nene. So people can be held accountable for misshore, for sharing misleading information through social media. John his nebel a gana a jo. E a his nini kiti an hi hajit a da bin yen nato kish sa da dohut ego bis o os ego do de sa da dohut ego be a his kahos nei jo e do ojin nida na den swido san in the ahut an hit no ben hi ya slat hi ye kaho a. A ko an his neko do Captain Brian Johnson ash hod ya nan ho ka. Ze is in a lini is a ne cart and lini arge days and of a the orchin nijuko put us up as his house net. A do tin hits are it that this kid are a ne a yarnal kitten de a cotti belagonic at your uptick days no oil the honana tsar. A a nani ido cotto hail zid a coash hoard. Nihichiton is there, Abbe Dutta days, Balana, Kail Hitne. Ada Dina, the Asia Yard, Kodo del Yazi Yahon, Nadi, is that so hard that Ek Adina Kiyot Kat on the Isla Art, that your Kata da Ita, Naskaiki Yahol net. A court say Yahol, Nadi is then in a raj arj, Dale Nishto, Kodo Yen, Hilta had ne, Hashin Saka. Bebe hat osi do belak eta as yashi aid for excellence in the disease surveillance data. Dehne e ane kwadeti eni de nes kidigi e aje shi kwad de nebe kahat zaji e nat e nat jahi bebe da hat osi. E shi o kheh bedi ni do le to kwase be da te kheh aje e nat jahi bedi ni. Ado dig at um the Kosna states at the Pedi Nini Dot, uh, Joshtoid Ini Tahunt or Nesli, Eben Najedic at Atihitsona Ekak at the Tat the Moors Lea at Kekona Ah. A Kodi, um, Aunt So, uh, Nadina Tebe of Kathon Lake at, uh, Sustat at the Hill of Kathida AD has twenteen Jinja A. Nini at the desk. A codiso lega hot zoja aji yego nanasni. A codini hit the nebel for hots of a carja eight honanes, desito at the nates, kit codanes jeto, a donat nijojito. A codini hit the nebel for hots of a ye at it, um, nanal kidos, a shin better than nante. A codi ye sip better than nido as elion, ye had your kai at the bata at siege, eh, ye sip better than na. A co ash hondent a honaha at seho naha at odds. Ado di hinda il tahi godo, hashine, nashik at hati, distinct godas and alke. A ya and dot leaf. Oh, you are net better than a jashi ha od send the ha a keha or a for the dog na hot. Do shit the dog na dot no zee it's eda. Eight of our big old trunk door should the door not door to no zee it either. Ah, with the door now at the door at the upper Jillian go teach or stoic any um door bear is the cloud or door had she has that or that a day's bar longer 
ตอบเอตาอะคุยลียงกออะอะนินฮิตซอนเตนเดลเคอะโดฮาชิโนซาอิกะฮอนอสอินิอิเฮอะโดฮาชิโนซาเอดิซาโดยะอะเตฮินด
sado ya at angel e e a ko ha jainas ke ko yo sen e no ha ba ko na sen a do a ho wa de no seni ha jo na ka achini ni ke so ken ni na le ka jo ba be tri a ta ke ti salam leni to na al kha leni o yu be has ani beta de ti ko de e ke e e la kha ho de ta de do ni li ana yen hit a hot or zi a eto to ba a teda in a hapa on a sin. When the police department is involved in any type of an investigation, you need to understand that not everybody can be involved and not everyone's going to get the information. If there's an investigation, they only release information to the immediate family. A don't a hapa on a sin. Apa has killed a shik edo shidene a quande nihe e quadot so the zen a quijipe besi dado but so deal zen. Al halet e lachjo hajo on the hand or dacho of what edges it kid. Ado di quado is the eight in a yen hitch a hard z. Any misleading information that is shared by social media without facts. They're looking at making these people become accountable for their actions. Da a hit the no sin. Ah, quit your codon, he chipper, and nasty, a daughter, Nihizan, Lini, her job, a triast hit. The nepazar, eh, a death ne. The nepazar, eh, ask for no hajo on a yotli. Do big it ought he home, poh, ah. Jot asked with a sunny and that and hint, eh, ah, do din al kai, but ninda al ka. Though she or your bench, the lagash that has not bit me, a jaw ain't quite and your man a hand or da, joho yet a dog. A cotto a quid junko, so that is a daughter, a tea day yet a oh, you go in the husky. Though a tea day yet a cockodon, he not a linny nihil zail, and then linny that dinos and adults allowed. Again, I'd like to thank all the listeners. We thank you for tuning in. And we like to end our town hall meeting by saying to continue to stay safe, travel only when necessary, continue to wear your mask in local areas, and continue to Social distance yourself. A tata of Yashik Edo should ne. Quan Sagoshen Quadon Hilna Tausil Natole. Na a ha